As we talk about this back to school time, WCPO 9 News reporter Sean Delancey spent the day in Forest Hills where they are ready to welcome students back. The inflatables from the welcome back party have been stowed away and it's time to get down to business educating our future generations. Staff here in Forest Hills say that they're ready. Whether you're heading back to school. Tell me what you like about school. Um, I really like all the teachers. Or you're hitting the books for the first time. I never really been here before because I'm going to kindergarten. There's an energy that precedes the first day of school. Some of it not so joyful. They're excited to, to be here, but to be honest, they had too much fun this summer and they weren't thrilled to come back to school. <laughs> Happy or sad, school is back. Merce Elementary Principal Jody Davidson says they're ready. Our teachers really focus on meeting students where they are and helping them grow, and every student will grow and learn. Ahead of their board meeting, in Superintendent Larry Hook says a recently passed $6.9 million combination levy will give their schools breathing room, first in operational costs, it keeps our class sizes down, and second in maintaining infrastructure in and around the district's nine properties. You know, roofs, asphalt, all the things that nobody really thinks about but they are not cheap. The levy added roughly 20 bucks a month in property taxes to a home valued at 100 grand. But Greg Lemon says he's happy he and his neighbors decided to pass it. It's one of the reasons we live in this community is to support the schools and send our kids here. Now we're going to be out all morning long letting you know everything you need to know before you head out the door. So join us for Good Morning Tri-State. In Anderson Township, I'm Sean Delancey, WCPO 9 News.